KMR, Kyle Mohan Racing. We're going to talk some rotary, talk and brap. Um, we often get asked uh, via Mazda Tricks or KMR about rotary engine front end play. That's the movement that the eccentric shaft has fore and aft after the motor has been built or properly assembled. And for reference, both rotary engines and piston engines will generally have some type of end play tolerance or shaft movement tolerance as the motor expands under heat and is used at load increases, decreases, if it's a manual car, clutch engagement, disengagement, drift cars, clutch kicking, drag cars, heavy loading, all of that is putting a load fore and aft in the motor and having a proper end play ensures that your shaft not only stays centered, but is able to operate correctly for a long period of time and ensures reliability. Too much end play could put too much movement and put the shaft out of its orientation or increase load and movement to the front end stack, your thrust bearings and thrust plates, and not enough end play could cause binding or seizing of the front end stack, front bearings, and front main bearing. So simply checking front end play can ensure that an engine has been properly built and is ready to go. Now generally, I recommend building your front end stack prior to having your front cover on. Yes, this is a dry sump front cover. Your front end tolerance and front end stack doesn't really change via tolerance from 12A, 13B, Renesis, Turbo, 20B. If you get into the factory manuals, there are some slight variations, but the general range of tolerance per factory manuals and rotary engines is about 1.5 thousandths of an inch to about 5 thousandths of an inch. Within what we did at Mazda Tricks and KMR, and our racing engines and customer street engines, we ended up pulling information from the factory Mazda Speed racing books, which ran tolerances between 1.8 and 2.5 thousandths of an inch, ensuring you have ample room for operation and thermal expansion, but also not allowing too much movement that could damage bearings or internals of the engine. So for reference, Mazda Trix and KMR, our personal choice is to run between 1.8 thousandths of an inch front end play and 2.5 thousandths of an inch end play. And that goes from 12A to 13B to 20B. If you're looking for specifics per your engine specifically, please reference the factory manual. But like I mentioned, generally the factory manuals ranged from about a 1.5 on the tight side to a 5 on the loose side, which in our opinion was just too loose. Anything over about 3 thousandths of an inch movement seemed like too much movement and started to cause adverse wear. So a little bit of information there why you need front end play and why it's important. And now... Um, generally, like I said, I would build the stack, uh, tighten up my front pulley before I have my front cover on, and take my uh, dial indicator, uh, magnetic base, uh, get it tight down to the uh, cast iron front because you're nice and magnetic, and then center up reasonably well on your front pulley bolt or nut. And uh, you're basically looking for close to 2,007 inch. I already have checked this one. I know we're landing right about 2,007 inch. Sorry, I'm not quite on zero there. Let's zero up, zero up for the channel. Eh, dial's moving around a little on me, but we're getting right about two, 1.9 to 2.2, depending on how hard I push. So pretty happy with that. We're landing right where we want. And you can see the, the dial indicator did not move back, so we're just slightly not on zero. Um, but well within the tolerance that I'm going for and well within the factory tolerance. Now, generally, I don't need to pry or use a screwdriver. I'm just holding the camera as well. Um, if everything's aligned properly, you should be able to basically just lift up on the front pulley with your hands or push up from the back of the E-shaft or uh, the back flywheel to measure this tolerance or just light pressure 
um, with a with a medium sized screwdriver. Do not go crazy with prying on the front pulley. If you're not getting front end play after a motor's been assembled, it could be for a few different reasons. Uh, there could have been a, a stack issue. Um, something could have worn. Um, it, in, it could indicate multiple issues that need to be addressed. And obviously too much end play could uh, mean that there's either something out of alignment, something not proper, or just needs to be changed. Mazda OEM adjusts the stack by a different spacer. So from Mazda Tricks or from KMR or from Mazda, basically your Mazda dealership, there is a spacer that comes in different thicknesses and that spacer is how you adjust your front end stack end play. So if you do get into a situation where it's your only motor you have and you're coming up with a tolerance that does not meet the factory uh, manual or what we recommend, then it would be wise to source one of those other spacers. And yes, that would mean you either have to go out and get one or order one. So um, prior to your engine assembly, um, it might be good to pick up a couple of those different spacers or know a local shop that may have some available if you do get into a situation where you need them. Generally, most rotary engines do not require a different spacer when they're being rebuilt, provided the majority of the parts have stayed the same. If you're building a motor from scratch parts, generally then I assume I'm going to have to find the right spacer combination. Um, there are different spacers for different engine generations. Um, third generation and RX-8 share the front end spacer uh, sim similarly. And then uh, 12A and first gen, second generation 13B uh, share the same style of spacer. So there is two different generations of spacers um, that you would need to source depending on the type of engine you're building. So I hope that helps everybody out understanding not only the importance of front end play um, for proper operation and reliability of an engine, um, but also the importance of checking it before your engine's completely assembled, before you have your front cover on, um, so you can make the adjustment easily. And you always need to properly torque down your front pulley bolt or front pulley uh, nut, main nut, two proper OEM specs to check this tolerance. It is not a uh, non-torqued tolerance. It is a torqued tolerance, um, especially for the bigger multi-rotor rotor engines like three rotors, four rotors, and more rotor plus, um, where you actually have to press the eccentric shaft together as well with proper torque tolerance. All right, so I think that's a wrap. Um, I talked way too long about front end play. If anybody's got questions, let me know. We gave some specs that I like. We gave some book specs and a little bit of information about how to check it. So please carry on. Keep brapping. I'm going to brap on out. I got to go do work. <laughs>